guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Given Crew. Masculine, how's it going? Sherry here. So this is going to be a Yang reading. Whoa, I forgot my little cards. Didn't see them there. All right, so this is going to be a masculine reading for February the 21st until March the 1st. So I'm using my deck. Let me think here. What should we do? Let's do... A Celtic wing. All right, so let me pull the cards first and then we'll go through the positions. Get in there. So you can probably just fast forward through this part. Bottom of the deck. Okay, and I got my other little deck here just in case I need some clarifiers. So I'll just give those a shuffle. Alright, so beginning with your present position. So these are all going to be in reverse, so I don't read reversals. So the Ace of Swords. Making a decision, mental clarity. Uh, so for your mental space, it's really interesting that you're getting this card because in the mental space you had the King of Swords making that decision. Um, so it embodies the same feeling of awareness, uh, crystal consciousness. So the Ace of Swords is making a decision, grounding that decision into reality. And it's a very triumphant card as well. So it feels to me that you have made a choice. You've, or you could be speaking your truth. It's about communication as well. Very powerful card to have in your present moment. Being in the now, being in this moment. Right. So let me just move these up a bit so you'll be able to see them all. Okay, so what is in the foundation? The Knight of Wands. So this is pursuing your passions. Uh, it's also about creativity, spirituality, but it is movement forward in a very furious uh, way. Riding that fiery, you know, passionate horse towards your, your goal, your desire. You know, the finish line is in, is in sight. So there's no stopping this energy. Very powerful, very directed in pursuit of your dreams and your goals. And this is about manifestation as well. So this is what you're standing on. This decision to move forward to pursue the things that make you come alive. This is also fire. It could be a fire sign. So that's it's beautiful it looks to me like you've made a decision to start something new and uh, whatever it is it, it's um, you know feeling that energy to move forward so what's in the past Wow King of Swords so I just finished talking about how this was in your mental space making that decision to have clarity um, detaching yourself emotionally from a situation the Ice King right um, that's very cool because with the King of Swords in the Twin Flame reading, um, it was accompanied by the 
emperor, right? So this choice, this decision, this mental clarity comes from, from true authenticity. Wow. It's like you're, stand, you're sitting here as a king of swords with that ace of swords in your hand and you feel victorious about your decision. And yeah, right? Whatever this is, it makes you come alive. So what do you hope for and likely to get is the Six of Cups reunion. Um, so this is somebody from the past coming back, somebody from childhood, previous life. So you've made a decision to move forward with this connection perhaps, or you, you will be pursuing somebody in your life who, um, you know, remind you of this childhood aspect or you know this innocent aspect of yourself this very pure innocent love and i also mentioned this card even though it didn't show up in the reading the seven of cups did in your emotional space i did mention this card right there's a sense that there may have been a reunion or a connection and you feel confused about which way to to move after that right there's a confusion of choices so you made a decision you want to reunite with somebody So what are you resisting? The Wow, the Seven of Cups, that's freaking hilarious. It's just talking about this card. Feeling confused, feeling like there's a lot of choices. Um, you know, and the message is to follow your heart. But what I was feeling in the reading is this cloud of confusion, chaos surrounding you. But in, at the heart, you are the eye of the storm. You are in the now. Very cool synchronicities going on right now. Definitely read the Twin Flame reading. So you're resisting, um, maybe you're not seeing something. Even though there's this mental clarity, this choice, you know, the next step is the seven, from the six to the seven. Uh, so let's pull, clarify for that. First card up. Wow, 11, 11. So twin flame connection, you you maybe feel that it you're questioning whether this eleven eleven connection is real, if it's an illusion. Um but this confusion is coming from an emotional aspect of yourself. Mentally you know that this connection is unlike any other. You know, the twin flame is, you know, this is confirmation that whoever you're thinking about is your twin flame. So you can stop being confused, right, and follow your heart, but you're resisting that. So let's carry on. You were moving forward in the past, but you're not presently. Okay, what is in your, oh, shit, I forgot to do the crossroads. Sorry about that. So your near future is the Grand Awakening card. Wow. I'm saying wow because this is reflecting the Twin Flame reading very strongly. So this is illumination, right? And the overall um, card for the message from the universe was illumination. Answers are coming. And you can see those answers coming for sure. So... This, uh, this is also needing to make a decision, right? So you are reviewing the past. You have an understanding that whatever decision you make will have far-reaching consequences. But you're also seeing that the life you've been living is an illusion. It's all in your head. So you have the ability to create this new life that is more in line with your higher calling. So in the near future, you will be making some major realizations that obviously have to do with the Twin Flame connection. Maybe it's synchronicities. You see 1111 on the clock. You hear her name when you're thinking of her. You hear a song that reminds you of her. So what is in your internal environment is the Three of Wands. Internally, you feel excited. You feel encouraged you feel like you're on the right path spiritually um, you feel that you've made some choices that are starting to feel profitable 
or bring you manifestation, right, abundance into your life. Um, so, yeah, even though there's a storm raging around you, you you're excited, enthusiastic, ready to go. What's in your external? Wow, the Ten of Swords. So you're cutting something out of your life. You're ending something. In the Twin Flame reading, you have the Ten of Wands in your spiritual space. So in your external environment, you feel that you are ending something. Um, this is <clears throat> the ending to the dark night of the soul. Feeling betrayed, feeling abandoned, feeling um, stabbed in the back. Right? So whatever this is, it's ending and you're beginning anew, right? We got the 10 as a completion and then the Ace of Swords is that new beginning, starting over, pursuing um, your twin flame, your true love, the one you've thought about your entire life. I don't know. So that's beautiful to see. The end to mental conflict. And you can see that end for sure, absolutely. Right there, the King of Swords, putting an end to the whatever bullshit is going on in his life. So, this is what you hope for and likely to get, and this is what you will get. The Queen of Pentacles. So, the Feminine had the Nine of Pentacles in her mental space that came along with... Uh, oh my god, I'm blanking. But anyway... Um, the Nine of Pentacles kind of embodies this similar energy, right? It's a feeling of success in the 3D reality. She's independent. She's, she loves herself. She treats herself well, very healthy, grounded. A um, lot of stability here. This is somebody else who also shares her wealth with others, who shares her riches, who loves to nurture others. So it's very much reflecting that strength card as well. You know, this kind, compassionate, gentle energy. So what you want is a reunion with somebody from your past. What you get is somebody coming into your life in the 3D reality. Somebody who wants to share their life with you, to look after you, um, because uh, this card is all about manifestation as well. So basically what you want, you will get. Okay, um, so you know what? I just want to pull one clarifier for that. Wow, the two of wands. Okay, so the feminine got this card with the high priestess in her emotional space. So there's this door that's open. Um, there's this connection a link shared between the two of you because of this two of wands, right? It's that golden thread connecting you with your twin flame. Um, but this is also seeing things from a higher perspective, seeing all the possibilities, um, believing maybe that this is a possibility that this can manifest feeling like, it, you know, you're, you're being guided towards her or drawn towards her. Um, all you need to do is walk through that door, basically. All right, so the summary outcome, the Five of Cups, your heart has been broken, and you can see that in the Twin Flame reading as well. The Devil and the Three of Swords came up together. So you have been through a mourning process. You're putting an end to that pain with the Ten of Swords, cutting things out of your life. You are ending this emotional, um, you know, I almost want to say somebody's draining your energy, especially with the devil. And, you know, we got a progression here from the five to the six. You're still in this space of mourning and, and, and sadness and heartbreak. What you want is to reunite or reconnect with somebody. And what is the final outcome? Nice, the Six of Pentacles. 
similar energy to the Queen of Pentacles, <clears throat> which is somebody who shares their energy, they share their riches, right? This is uh, reciprocation, sharing your abundance with others, and that, you know, through the a law of giving and receiving, then it, that abundance comes back to you. So, you know, you, there's a sense that you wanted to reach out to the feminine in a twin flame reading, and this is the, a card of that energy, right? It's sharing your life with somebody in the 3D. So it's, it, there's a sense of confirmation that there may be a connection realized in the 3D reality. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull one confirmation for that. Wow, the Nine of Pentacles showed up again. So it's kind of connecting to that Queen of Pentacles again, right? Being Brady, um, independence, self-love, but the nine is this major completion, completion, accomplishment. I feel the masculine, you are taking a step forward. Um, it's like you're ready to open yourself up in the 3D reality. Real, you realize that the way that you've been doing things only ends up in heartbreak. Right? And so instead of denying your emotions, you are embracing them. So what is the overall energy? Wow. Not surprised to see that at all. Eight of Swords, mental prison. Yeah. That's why you are the King of Swords with the Ace of Swords there. That's why the Ten of Swords is showing up in your external environment. You are releasing yourself from that mental prison. This is an oppressive energy coming from the outside. So somebody is making you feel that you are trapped, but you're choosing to believe that, not anymore. You know, you're that heartbroken soul locked behind these bars, you know, and you're freeing your heart, unchaining yourself as the king of swords with the ace of swords releasing yourself from that that prison beautiful okay so i'm going to pull one card from miss and mermaids and this will be the final message this one wants to come along nice stability firm foundation three of pentacles so if you're worried about your divine feminine don't worry about it she's showing up as the queen of pentacles she's there with you long term the foundation is solid it's you know there's watch the twin flame reading you'll see what i mean she got the three of pentacles in the physical so she's not going anywhere she's grounded um she's open to sharing you know but there it feels to me that you need to take care of some some things in your emotional and mental space and then you're free to move forward okay so what is uh, message from the universe is my tentacled friend. Not surprised at all to see that because um, you have the Ten of Wands, right? And the um, the Devil card. So th this is like feeling extended in eight directions. Right? So the, a feeling of entrapment but also exhaustion. So that's coming to an end, I think. So number 34, oops. I'm excited, or sorry, I'm extended in eight directions, torn and pulled beyond the max. I have thumbs and too many puddings. I must withdraw, renew, and relax. An exhausted sea maiden holds on limply to her octopus companion. She is overextended, tired, and in need of rest. Revitalate revitalization or rebirth her paler suggests depleted energy and waning vigor so the meaning is your overextended self you have become overextended like an octopus who has stretched each arm in different directions the overextension has left you weak vulnerable and haggard it is time to reduce your obligations and draw inward for a time decide upon your highest priorities and release those duties that no longer aid you or are not as important as they once were. Reclaim the parts of yourself, both mentally and physically, that are being improperly used and let them rest for a time. When you're feeling stronger, put them back to use constructively. If you see the need, but do not let yourself get overbur uh, or overburdened again. 
Always keep an arm in reserve for a surprise attack that is near and dear to your heart or feels your personal ambitions. Okay, so it's probably not a task. So let me just go back there. Ah, yes, a surprise task that is near and dear to your heart or feels your personal ambitions. So there we have that fuel, that passion, right? Um, you're going after something. You're giving something your all. You feel enthusiastic about it, but at the same time, you feel like you are overextending yourself and yes you are so make a decision to cut away whatever it is that is um, breaking your heart and pursue those things that make you come alive very simple message all right guys i love you please uh, like subscribe share all that good stuff all right cheers